Hello, and welcome to Part 27 of my video series on how to use Blender 2.7. In this video, I'll be talking about the Boolean modifier. Now, the Boolean modifier is a really powerful tool you can use to combine two objects in different ways. In fact, there is three different ways that you can combine two objects using the Boolean modifier. To describe what those three things look like, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So let's go ahead and zoom in on my default cube, and I'll press Shift A, because again, it needs two objects, so I'm going to go ahead and add a cylinder. I'm going to scale the cylinder down at first, and I'll press S and then Z to scale it only up on the Z axis. And again, there's three different ways you can use it. So I'm going to copy these two objects two more times and slide them over only on the X axis. And there we are. We're all set up. The first way that you can use a Boolean modifier is you can use one object to cut a hole in another object. In this case, I'm going to use a cylinder to cut a hole through the middle of the cube. To add the Boolean modifier, you go over to the Properties panel, and of course, Modifiers are under the Wrench tab. So with this cube selected, and by the way, generally when you're using the Boolean modifier, you're going to want to select the object that is going to look most like the result. In this case, the result is going to be a cube with a hole cut through it. So it's going to look more like the cube. So I'll select the cube, go to the wrench tab, and add the Boolean modifier right there. When you first add the modifier, nothing happens because you have to point to the second object. In this case, I'm going to select it just to see what it's named. It's cylinder.001. So under the modifier options, and by the way, it gets added in this section here to the modifier stack. I'm going to go ahead and select cylinder.001. As soon as I add the modifier, you can see an immediate change happen, but this is not what I want. It's using the wrong operation, and again, there's three of them. I'm going to select difference. When I select difference, it actually uses the second object to cut a hole through the object you have the modifier on, but you can't see its effect. If I grab the cylinder, you'd expect a hole to be there, but if I move it, there is nothing there. And that's because this modifier works in real time until you apply it. So how you can see how it's working is if I press Z to go into wireframe mode and then select my cube, you can see that because of the orange outline, it's actually having a hole cut through the side of it. And if I move the cylinder to the middle, it'll change automatically to update wherever that cylinder is. To apply it, to make the hole permanent, I click Apply in the Boolean modifier options, and I can go ahead and delete the cylinder and go back into Solid View. There we have it, a hole complete with sides. Now if I go into Edit Mode with the Tab key, of course, you can see that it leaves you with a great mesh. I actually made a video on the Boolean modifier several years ago, back before we had n gons in Blender. In other words, the top surface of this cube is really neat and tidy, and this is an amazing thing because back in older versions of Blender, the Boolean modifier existed, but when you used it, it left you with a really ugly mesh covered in triangles, really narrow triangles too, and it was a real pain in the rear end to get rid of them. But now that we have n-gons and the Boolean modifier has been updated to, to support them, we only have two n-gons, so the mesh is very clean. This is a great thing. Let's go ahead and press tab to go back into object mode, and let's look at the second way of using the Boolean modifier. The second way that you can use the Boolean modifier is to combine two objects into one. Yes, I could select both objects and press Control J to join them, but that would leave me with basically just two meshes combined into one. It wouldn't really weld them together. In fact, if I just did the Control J method, I would still have internal geometry. With the Boolean modifier, though, you can create a union, which really does weld the two objects together, and it doesn't leave any internal geometry. In other words, there would not be any edges or faces running through the middle of the resulting cube. So let's go ahead and press Z to go back into Solid View, and with the cube selected, I'm going to go to Add Modifier, click on Boolean, and this middle cylinder is just called Cylinder, so I'm going to click on the object area and select just Cylinder, and the second operation is Union. When you do that, I'm going to go ahead and press Apply, and I'll press Z to go back into wireframe mode and delete my cylinder again. And as you can see, the result is a union of the two objects in its truest form, because if I go into Edit Mode with the Tab key, again, we have end guns on the top, and there is no internal geometry. It's just a solid mesh of the shell of both objects put together. It's a really powerful tool. The third way that you can use a Boolean modifier is by, basically what it does is it only leaves the section 
where the two objects overlap. In this case, the only place the two objects overlap is the middle of the cylinder. If I go to my front orthographic view and press Z to go into wireframe mode, basically it's going to leave the cylinder but chop off the top and bottom. So yes, I could add the modifier to the cylinder, but I'm going to go ahead and add it to the cube because in this case it doesn't matter. I'll click add modifier, select boolean, select the third object with, which is cylinder.002, and as you can see, it keeps only the part of the cylinder where the two overlap or where the two meshes overlap. If I move the cylinder though, I might only get part of the cylinder because again, the side of the cube was right here and now this section is the only part where they overlapped. I'm gonna go ahead and press apply and delete my cylinder with the X key and there you have it, only a partial cylinder where the two objects overlapped. This was a really brief introduction to the Boolean modifier, but again, it's a very powerful tool, and that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.